Captain Form is the go-to WordPress form building plugin. Regardless if you're a WordPress developer, a web design agency, a business owner, or just need your guests to RSVP to an upcoming event, Captain Form is the solution to all of your form building needs. With little to no effort, you can select from the wide range of form templates available and edit them according to your needs, or you can start yours from scratch. Let's say you are hosting a tech event and attending requires purchasing a ticket. In the editor, you can add all of the fields that you need to request information from attendees. There are over 25 field types with various settings, like field validation, or the option to make them required or optional. Just drag and drop the predefined fields to request contact information, such as name, email and phone number. Both the single choice and multiple choice fields are ideal for multiple scenarios. In our case, we will be asking for food and beverage preferences. If different types of tickets are available at your event, use the single choice field to create your desired options, like a one day pass, a three day pass, or a VIP ticket that comes with special perks. You could also use checkboxes and quantity fields if you wanted users to buy multiple tickets at once. We finished setting up the main part of our form, so let's switch to settings. The settings area has eight main sections. The first one is the notifications area, divided into two parts. One where you set up the emails that you receive when a form is filled out, and the second part where you set up the emails and autoresponders that your users receive. Here, you can also decide what happens after the form is submitted. Under form owner options, we will leave most settings to their defaults with a few minor changes. Since this is the notification you will be receiving, give the email a subject line that will be easy for you to recognise, filter or organise your emails. You can also choose to receive form submissions as PDF files or get notified by SMS. Under form user options, we will enable the submission copy and the autoresponder that users will receive after they have sent the form. After a quick review, click the Save Changes button. In Themes, you can fully customise your form's design, and you can also add your own CSS code. Third-party apps allow you to integrate with today's most used marketing, management and development applications. To keep better track of our event, we will integrate with two free apps, Google Drive and Google Calendar. In Google Drive, a new spreadsheet will be created and all of the information sent through your form will be available here. The integration with Google Calendar allows you to add attendees to events, and to manage events in various ways.
Payments is where you can set up prices and discounts and add one or more payment gateways through which you will be charging money. In our case, we will set a specific value for each ticket by selecting the field from the drop-down list and clicking on Add Value. Under Payment Processes, we will add PayPal as a gateway. You can add multiple payment processes and allow users to choose how they want to pay. After adding your PayPal email, save everything and you're done. You can also choose to be notified only after a payment is processed, instead of every time a new entry is sent. The security section allows you to password protect your form if it's only destined for internal use. You can also limit the total number of submissions in different ways, set capture verification or enable country filters. The rules section is where you can add conditional logic to your form. You can choose to show or hide fields based upon user's input, send different autoresponders, or redirect to different pages. In translations, you can easily build multi-language forms if you're addressing an international audience, and you can customize all the messages that appear on your form under different circumstances like when there is a validation error. Last but not least, in the advanced section, you can allow users to save and resume submissions to edit them at a later time, or to preview their summary before hitting the Submit button. From here, you can also enable the Request for Approval feature, turn your form into a quiz and do many other cool things. We're done setting up our form, so now we'll move on to publishing it. Captain Form comes with multiple publishing options. Use the shortcode to embed forms in pages and posts, the widget to publish them in sidebars or the function call inside theme files. You can also publish the form inside a pop-up that opens when a link, an image or a floating button is clicked, or you can have it pop up automatically after a certain number of seconds. We are now going to use the shortcode. All you have to do is copy it into a page or a post, click on update, and you're all set. People can now fill in your form, register, and pay for admission at your event. When you start receiving submissions, you will be notified by email, and you can always see all messages in the submissions area of each form. You can also resend or reprint your submissions, save them as PDF files, or simply export them as a CSV or Excel file. In the Reports section, you can use pie charts, bar charts and various other widgets to generate reports for your forms. Also, in case of a poll for example, you can make the report public and post it on your website with just a couple of clicks.
So what are you waiting for? Download the plugin for free from the WordPress plugin directory or visit captainform.com.